be able to know someone for the amount of years that we've known someone, he's still young too, man. We still young out here. Let's let's just be focused. But right. man, to be able to to see you at VIP Records, man, the Long Beach man, when it first started out, bro. VIP records in the back. For those of y'all who don't know, to see Snoop when the when my man had an SP twelve twelve hundred drum machine, <laughs> and and you know, nigga, I'm just a young skinny motherfucker with a fucked up Jerry curl just in me. But I, I said, I don't know about them other motherfuckers, man. But that 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 slender slender fly motherfucker right there about to do something. And now to look at everything that you have done uh, from and the stuff you've gone through. Remember, remember sometimes, man, we was like, yeah, man, right. we gonna, we going to make it? I, like, like I was really, like, like for those of, who, are, who are watching right now, like the danger and the excitement at the same time was sort of wrapped up in the one. That was moments of where it was like, man, Snoop. It, uh, are we gonna are we gonna live like and that's right. that was a gamut of everything and to watch how you took everything man and you and you put it into your music man in a fearless way and now to see snoop dogg the ambassador of entertainment the person that you could be in any room but man i'm talking to some real white friends i got some real white white friends like Jamie, I saw Snoop at a jazz. He was at a jazz <laughs> place. He was, I was so amazed that he came out there and there were saxophones and Snoop and we just could not believe how incredible it was. I mean, these are my real ones. These are my Caucasians. <laughs> my Caucasians. But 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 that but that's just another feather in your artistic cap of how you can be in any setting, man, and be so loved, man. And now coming up to day shift and if you guys have not man jump on that thing man and check that out man to where this was a moment how did you feel like getting something like this this uh where you had to really do the action how was I that mean, I, I was challenged I, I really wanted like things like this to happen for me early in my career but i don't think i was ready and now to, to be able to take on the challenge of like working out and learning my lines and being able to, to do action and stunts and things of that nature was challenging for me. And I always wanted to be in these types of pictures and then to be able to work with mm -hmm. you and then JJ, it was like, it pushed me to the limit. And I love when I'm pushed to the limit. I don't like when I'm, you know, not challenged. I, I love, I love the challenge. And I feel like this was a challenge for me. What was the big, what was the biggest challenge? Cause you was doing all, what for all y'all that's watching right now, watching you do your own stuff. What was the biggest thing? learning how to fight on screen, learning how to shoot that gun, and learning how to be a poised actor at the same time while, you know, taking in all of these stunts and all of this stuff that required, you know, physical ability. Yeah, man. And and then and then the fact that you know said, you know, that motherfucking gun, man, that got that big burst was big as fuck. They don't know hey Fox, that motherfucker weigh 160 pounds. The gun weighs 80 pounds and the backpack weigh another 80 pounds. So I was walking around with 160 pounds of metal getting busy baby nigga that's a whole nother that's a whole person is it that's a whole nother nigga i was walking around with a nigga <laughs> man but it was it was so it was so so dope man and to see and, and people on when we got a chance that then what's crazy about this movie is that the movie went straight to netflix but we got a chance to see it at the la premiere how was that how was that when you was watching what was people doing in the, in the audience bro Man, the silver screen is gigantic, man. To see the people's reaction to certain scenes and action and the, just to hear them react to things, like to be physically in a the theater with them just took me back to me watching, you know, great movies of the 80s and the 90s as a as a youngster and being at premiere. So it was, it was an out-of-body experience for me to know that that was me on screen and they was enjoying my acting, your acting, the whole screenplay, the whole everything. It was amazing. And I remember how you felt. I remember when you walked into the uh, when you walked into the to the after party. You was like, "Damn!" Because you know people don't understand it's a process. It's a process of getting these movies, you know, put together. And you was like, "Man, that final uh, 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 product!" And then watching people yell at the screen, and that, that's what I wish people could get an opportunity to do. When you know, and so for for, for all of y'all right now, get with your homies, smoke out, drink, whatever you do. Have fun with this motherfucking movie. Stream it right now, man, because 
I'm telling you, man, I done had a gang of people over here, man, just wilding out. And I know people are doing what I'm looking for now is certain scenes and people's commentary. This dude sent one uh, thing to me where uh, he's watching the open scene with the grandmother and, and shit like that and comments. So if y'all got any of those, man, hit me on my DMs with that, man. But uh, it's like I said, and it's remarkable, man. And here's the other thing. Snoop, you've been all over the world, my nigga. All over the world. All over the world. But how does it feel to have the number one movie in 110 countries, my nigga? How many? 110. Yo, started off with 79 within 20, 24 hours. Then it ballooned up to 110. 110 countries, man. Countries? 110 countries. I didn't even know it was that many countries. <laughs> God damn, Fox. What, we in space, nigga? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we on Mars. They on Mars watching this shit, man. Nigga, but Space 100... Jam enjoying this shit right now. God yeah, damn. man. A hundred. How How's that feel? That's different because you don't realize the impact of how you affect people until you get results like this. When you get those numbers thrown back at you and the feedback is that the people love it. They love seeing me and you work together and they want more of it. They love when, when, when people can come together with something beautiful as the screenplay JJ and then put together. And, and the casting, I got to get them a shout out for casting such a lovely cast. Everybody in the movie was amazing. Well, listen, bro, I, you know, I got I to gotta, I gotta pat myself on the chest a little bit on that one because I was like, the, the monumental Snoop in the movie, you know, who personifies with L.A. And then, of course, Megan Good, super incredible, beautiful. Dave Franco, just, uh, that, I've been, I've been, I, look, I've been clocking Dave Franco for a long time. I'm a Dave, the shit. Dave the shit. Dave the shit. Y'all yeah, buddy, y'all buddy, buddy shit was fly, fly enough to do some more shit. I'm just throwing that yeah, in there. No, we, hey man, it, we ain't gonna throw that in there. Let's get part two of these motherfuckers and have a Big John trilogy and the Nazarian brothers. It's a lot of, it's a lot of things in there that we planted the seeds, man. So, you know, it's important for everybody to jump on there, man. Watch it again this weekend, man. Get to, you know, let let me know what your favorite scenes are, man. But hey, Snoop, a hundred and ten countries, man. That's and what cool. people don't understand, what's great about Netflix, you push one button in the whole entire world. Is getting a chance to watch your craft, man. That's that's what's you you go somewhere. Every everywhere I've been out right now, man. I was at the I was at the pickleball court, <laughs> doing some real doing some real mainstream, real uh, cul de sac. <laughs> I was cul de sac about that motherfucker. I'm at the pickleball court with my friend, and they, you know they run up, Jamie. Oh my God, the movie today. I said, Yeah, man. So 110 countries, man. I said, That's amazing. <laughs> and then we free up and get that thing again, man. Get that get that. Get that big John, get that big John trilogy. Hey, Fox, my homies want to know how did that motherfucker throw you up the stairs? Most motherfuckers get thrown down the stairs. That niggas threw you up the stairs. Nigga threw me up, nigga, when the, when the, when the, <laughs> and for those of you who haven't seen it, what's great about the stunts is this is some shit that you've never seen. These, these stunts, and they kind of, uh, 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 they're, 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 they're practical. So when the director say, we're going to throw you up the stairs, I said, no, you meant to say down the stairs. Like, no, buddy. JJ Perry like we'll throw you up to say I said nigga what? They put that string on the nigga man and slung me up that bitch man. Oh, nigga. so it's some classic little moments in there. But well, I give a shout out to JJ Perry for those of you who who check it, go check out JJ Perry man. He did all the behind the scenes for John Wick and 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 Fast and the Furious, and we getting ready to work on this other thing with Cameron Diaz. But I thought he was really nifty man with these different practical fight scenes you know what i'm saying those practical fight scenes man and and for uh for those of y'all who want to see some real cool ass fight scenes man check that shit out day shift baby you can watch it at night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh but hold on wait a minute before we go any further snoop they know how we do man we musical man we we always gonna bring some music to it bang out so, bang that shit don't talk yeah, about so, it be about it so the last Last scene in the movie, Dave Franco says, mowing down vamps with my best friend, but I said, hold on, wait a minute. I recorded him. I said, man, say that shit again. So I said, I'm going to send this to my producer. So I sent it to my producer. I said, hey, I wanted to go like this. Mowing down vamps with my best friend, but hit me. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, 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 bam. Next thing you know, dog, my boy Jay Young put a verse on it. My boy Sam put a verse on it. And then the one and only Snoop Dogg has just finished his verse 
We done turned that shit into a music video. So we're going to drop the new music video at the end of the week. At, on Sunday, the mu music video is going to drop because uh, we had to hit him with some music, baby. Play that shit. Play a little bit for him. Fox, they need to hear that shit. You know they Nick, want let, to let, let's, let's, how, we put, how we play it on there? Play that shit, nigga. Just play it. They can hear it through the phone, cuz. I'm going to roll up a plug. Yeah, yeah, I like that shit. Hey, that shit hey t t t we finna get that, get that right now. Oh, I'm finna go to my studio. See, if No, no. Because my, my, my Wi-Fi on the, out there is going to be fucked up. You know what I'm going to Get, a, get another battery. phone. Put it on another phone, Fox. That's what we're about to do right now. You got it on your phone? Yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me on your phone. Right here, Dave. Just give me your phone. I ain't gonna scroll, nigga. Give him the phone, Dave. He ain't gonna look at none of that X-rated shit you all them dick pics you got in there. <laughs> <laughs> like shit. All the motherfucking melties. Yeah, nigga got melting and dick pics. Quit playing up. Nigga got a fluorescent drawers yeah. on set of dick pics. Yeah, just give me your phone, Dave. God damn, Dave, we ain't gonna look in there. Huh? Yeah, well, give me that. Well, just give me it's this. Gonna sound, it's going to sound good on the phone. It sounds good. You ain't got to play it loud. The phone make it sound good on Instagram. Mowing damn vamps with my friend's bud. No, man. But here, here's the thing about it, man. Being able to do some shit like that with the one and only Snoop, man, that we got, got some more music legacy, man. That's what you get. That's what you yeah. get. Yeah. No, you can just play it on your phone. No, just play it on your phone. You don't have to play it on there. They mix my vocals in there now, too, cuz. That shit sounds good. Yeah, just, you got hey, that? hey, Fox. Fox. Yeah. Your, your director just left, cuz. I just shot. Oh, yeah. That's what he was telling me. Man, man, thank you for that. He was blowing the fuck away, man. I did some I did some extra shit, too, cuz, to make it like super. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, listen, man. He was so motherfucking blown away, my nigga. He was like, yeah. he said, I'm with Snoop. I said, yeah, did you get high, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I said, "Hey, remember when the dude was interviewing us? So we doing this interview. I forget the, I forget who we was with, but they were the the hip hop guys. Oh, uh, rap radar, rap radar. Elliot so for those, for, for, for those of you who are on here right now, make sure you check out the the Snoop and Jamie Fox interview with Rap Radar. Cause Snoop, you know, in his medicinal bag, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing, right? But the dude asking the questions is sitting." Downwind <laughs> of Snoop's smoke, you feel me? So while <laughs> while while he started asking questions, he kind of started like fumbling his words. <laughs> the nigga was like, <laughs> and I said, yeah, "Yeah, you sitting downwind, homie." So y'all check y'all check that out on Rap Radar because that shit was hilarious. And Snoop, let me ask this: what what is it? Because I'm gonna give a personal story. Snoop was so great. And curating my book and everything like that. But we did an interview on stage in San Diego. First of all, we blew that shit the fuck up. Shout out to 619-858. We blew that shit up. But Snoop, you start blowing blowing some shit, right? Bro, I'm sitting down wind of your shit in the middle of the in the middle of the book thing, right? And you asked me a question about one movie, and I answered a question to another movie. And in my head, I'm like, I know this nigga ain't asking me this, but I'm. I'm <laughs> what What is that, bro? Do you have your Do you have your own? What is your What is your concoction now? Can you even speak uh, on that? My, my My thing, Jamie, is more about you know medicinal benefits. You know the what ability to be able to function. To be able to, you know, be healthy and be here 30 years from now. You know what I'm saying? When the beginning, it was about just getting high and, you know, doing it for the party purposes, recreational. But now it's more of a medicinal purpose. You, you're right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get medicinal, too. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, wait, wait. That nigga went hella political. Huh? <laughs> what you doing, my body and my functioning, my kidneys and my liver. <laughs> you're right, nigga. You're right. You're right, nigga. A nigga politician, hey nigga, you, hey nigga, you better run for president, nigga. The way you was, well, you know, the thing is that a nigga whole, you had a whole different nigga, but you left your nigga voice. Well, you know, <laughs> well, you know, Jamie, uh, you know, the medical purposes, <laughs> the benefits of medical. You went hella corporate right there. I had to, cause that's my, that's my yeah. other, that's my other voice. You know, I got two or three voices, cause yeah, you know what I'm saying. Come well, on, Dave, you, play the music, man. What's going on, Dave? You want me to play? Let me see if I can play this shit. Hold on. Yeah, play. 
play too much. He didn't give me the final mix, though. Only got my version. Yo, play, play yours. Damn, it's about to come out. Foul. And that's got all of them? Yeah, that's the, that's the finished foul. Bam, my best friend, but, but. I think it's the verse of my verse on That's the music on That's the thing on Come on right now. I got to get the version with, with, with our lyrics on it. That was the instrumental that he sent to me, cuz. That shit banging like a motherfucker. Yeah, play that shit, baby. Fox. Come on, baby. We gotta hit. We gotta hit the road right after this. And it's my boy on, Jay man. Young. It's my boy Jay Young. It was the front Big of that. Snoop. <laughs> Big Snoop. Hi. Hi. Hey, you went in. I mean, we knew you was gonna go in, but you went in. Yeah, nigga. Come on. So, man. so listen. So, so everybody, right now, man, go ahead and stream the movie again. I know I got a whole bunch of people that's been watching it three or four times, man. But. Jump into that thing and Snoop. What can I say, man? Just wait for uh, we're about to do part two, baby, and bring that bring that motherfucking heat again. Can't stop, won't stop. You know I love you, boy. Love you, baby. That brown sugar bourbon, you dig me? Brown sugar bourbon. 